Bingo, we got our notification. We now know how to leverage automations and notifications to our phone. In today's video, we're gonna be leveraging Zapier's ability to connect to the weather, no, not literally, and our ability to receive messages on our phone. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete understanding of how to start leveraging automations and everything above the board when it comes to connecting your phone with different APIs. Let's go ahead and jump in today's video. Welcome back, y'all. Today's video has been suggested by Kenny in our school community here, and he had asked me simply, hey, Corbin, any chance you could create me a shortcut automation on my iPhone for me to get a text message or notification for tomorrow's weather each night? So in this video, we'll do that, and shout out to Kenny. As a side note, if you want to ask me specific questions or get access to material that I do not put on YouTube, check out the community. Let's jump in. Let's go ahead and get going here. We're going to start off by creating a zap. Creating zap. Now, what's great about today's video is that we're going to basically be using mostly Zapier native apps or more specifically apps that were created by Zapier and part of the Zapier family. Therefore, let's go ahead and rename this. We're going to say, tell me the weather. I'll go ahead and make sure I leave this Zapier automation in the description down below. If I forget, just let me know in the comments. First thing is first, when is this going to even occur? So this is going to be dependent on your use case and how you want to approach this. Let's just say I wake up at 7 a.m. I'm going to go ahead and set a trigger here. It's going to be a scheduler by Zap here. Schedule by Zap. The trigger event is going to be every day or maybe every week, depending on when you want to get this notification. Continue. We're going to say the time of day here is going to be 7 a.m., 7 a.m., and then triggers on the weekends. Continue. Test the trigger, and this should just give us some dummy data. Perfect. Now that we have that information, we need to actually receive what the weather is going to be. Is it going to rain? Is it about to be hail? Are we about to be snowed in? Luckily, I do not live in a place that snows in. For me personally, those colder climates, I don't know if I can live there. I can visit. I don't know if I can live there. We're going to do an action here. We're going to do weather. That's right. We're making Zapier our weather reporter. And we can go ahead and set get tomorrow's forecast or alternatively get the current weather. And actually, because of the fact that Kenny said he wanted to get the notification at night to know what's going on tomorrow, let's change our schedule real quick. So instead of 7 a.m., we're going to go ahead and do like 10 p.m. Test that trigger again. Now with our actions event here, pretty simple, right? Get tomorrow's forecast. Continue. Now we need to currently provide our current longitude and latitude. And all you got to do is a simple Google search, but like New York, New York, longitude, latitude, proceed. So for example, if you're living in the SF, here is your longitude and latitude. Now, once you put in your location, we got to choose the unit we'd like to look at. I'm going to go with Fahrenheit. With all this information added, we're going to hit continue. Test this step. Now it does seem with Zapier's current integration of the weather, we have to actually put in like a whole number for latitude and longitude. So keep that in mind. Once we get that though, we get a ton of information such as the summary for the weather or the min to max temperature in this context, Fahrenheit. Now that we know the weather, let's go ahead and send it to our phone. So what I'm gonna show in this video is using WhatsApp as the integration. Part of this is because of the fact that it is free to send it through WhatsApp. But on top of that, if you wanna see a business version of this and how to leverage WhatsApp and Zapier, go ahead and check out that video right there. I show you in a business context when receiving an order or a customer support email how you can start leveraging WhatsApp and Zapier. For now though, we just wanna know the weather. For the action event here, we're gonna go ahead and do send message, continue. Now currently the way that WhatsApp integrates with Zapier is specific to templates that are provided by WhatsApp's API. Basically what that means for us is that any type of just fixed text like the weather temperature, the summary, et cetera, we're gonna put in the name and then we're gonna go ahead and put for the link to reply, a relevant link to the city we live in and maybe like the forecast of that day. So in this example, we'll go ahead and add here. I'll go ahead and go to our data found here. I'm going to say summary, and I'll do comma, max temp, and we will choose the max temp, which will be 91.2. With both of that pieces of information in there, for the link to reply, I'm just going to put a link to San Francisco weather. Perfect. So now that we have the link to the 10-day forecast from San Francisco, or whatever city you're in, and on top of that, the relevant information of what the temperature is going to be for the next day, we just have to hit continue. Let's go ahead and test the step. Bingo. We got our notification. We now know how to leverage automations and notifications to our phone. Now, alternatively, we could have used another block called SMS by Zapier if you just want to send a straight text message. I like using WhatsApp as one that just integrates well. And on top of that, no charge. So choose what you want. Leave a like. It's completely free. Check out the automation down in the description below. And I'll see you in the next video. These videos are perfect for a rainy day. Maybe they aren't. They were chosen randomly by YouTube. And I'll see you in the next video.